Hey, it's Joe Amoya, founder and creator of GPS for Love.com. Oh, are, are you at that point in your life where you're tired of all the dead end relationships? You're tired of giving your all to a guy. You're trying to thinking if you just love him more, if you just stay in there a little longer, things will change and he'll turn into the man and it'll turn into the relationship that you're ultimately looking for. Well, if so, I want you to pay close attention because I've got a video that's going to really, really help you on your journey. So today we're going to talk about the one decision that you must make in your love life. Now, normally it's about the guy, but today we're not going to talk about that. Okay. It's not, we're not going to talk about the relationship. We're going to talk about you because the secret to, to creating a great relationship, the secret to getting a man to commit the rest of his life to you and only you and to pick you versus all the other women who are out there in the world is you. But in order to do that, you must realize that you're okay now. Okay. You don't need to try hard. You don't need to do something that's not inherently you. You simply need to be you. There's a point in my life where I was kind of at the same journey, kind of at the same point in my journey, where it's like, you know what? I wanted that love. I wanted that relationship. And I ultimately wanted to have that family. And I tried really hard and I put up with a lot of shit. <laughs> Let's be honest here. And then ultimately, as I got out of that relationship, I realized that, you know what? This is who I am. Okay. I'm not going to be something that I'm not. I'm not going to pretend to say something that isn't inherently true, isn't my truth. And I'm not going to be someone that is not a true reflection of who I am as a person. And if a person can't love and accept me for who I am right now, then I don't want anything to do with them. Because I knew in order for me to have the relationship that I really wanted in life, I needed, I needed to be 100% authentically me. And when I made that decision, boom, things changed. I felt so much better. I stopped trying to make relationships work. I stopped trying to make someone fall in love with me because I realized the right person is going to fall in love with me for who I am. So I'm just going to show up from the very beginning, from day one, and just be me. And that took all this pressure off. You know, at that time, when I made this decision, there was this thing out there called The Rules. It was an actual book. And it was talking about, you know, if someone calls, you can't call them for a day because you seem too interested. And if, and if you know they do this, then you can't show up because then you're going to show them that you know you're too needy. And it's like you know it was such a bunch of bullshit. It's like just be you. You know if because my philosophy, if I have to manipulate somebody and play games to make them fall in love with me, well then that's not the kind of person I want to be with. And I want you to ask yourself that kind of question: Do you simply want to manipulate, control, fool? a guy to fall in love with you. Is that really what you want? Because what happens once you find him? Because invariably, most of those relationships fall apart. We've all been there, right? We've all tried really hard. We thought if we did this or we do that, ultimately they'll fall in love They'll fall in love with us. They'll see how wonderful we are and they'll commit the rest of our life to us, the rest of their lives to us. And how does that usually work? It usually doesn't, right? Well, today we're going to learn from that. So I want you to go back and just take some time and really ask yourself this question. From this point on, can you go out there and saying, you know, this is who I am. Either love me and accept me for who I am. And if you don't, I'm perfectly willing to move on. Now, if you can say that, you're absolutely ready to move on and create a relationship. Now, however, if you can't, if there's a part of you that knows that you've got some stuff, maybe you've got some, some trust issues, maybe you've got some abandonment issues, maybe you've got some self-worth or self-esteem issues. You know, if you can't honestly say that, then before you go into that relationship, do that work, okay? Doesn't mean you need years of therapy. Doesn't mean that you're broke. It can be just stuff that you work on yourself or if you can't work on it, you don't know where to go. Find someone who's qualified, who knows how to solve your problems and who can help you solve them quickly because the reality is there's nothing wrong with you. You're simply a human being on a journey doing the best you can and there's no problem that you've gone through that hundreds and thousands of other people haven't gone through as well. So that's your homework for today make that decision, take some time off and see, can you decide that you're good enough right now? And can you move from this point forward on in that energy? If you can go out and get them. If you can't do your work, because ultimately if you don't do your work, you're going to get into a relationship, all your stuff's going to come up and then you're going to realize, you know what, I'm going to have to do my work anyway. So, you know, the old Midas commercial, you can pay me now or pay me later. Okay. You can, you can pay now or you can pay later. So why not pay now? do the work, and that'll free you up to go create the relationship you desire and deserve. So as always, an honor and privilege to be with you. I'll see you next time. Much love.